Hello students, welcome to my channel. Hope you have watched my last videos. And today's my topic is hydrocarbons for class 10th. Hydrocarbons. Let us start with the definition of hydrocarbon. A hydrocarbon is a compound which is a combination of hydrogen and carbon. And we can see hydrogen plus carbon that is equal to hydrocarbon. For example, methane. Ethene and ethyne. Here you have to remember the most important resource of hydrocarbons is petroleum, which is also known as the crude oil. If you can say methane, that means it is a combination of carbon and hydrogen. As far as the formula of the methane is concerned, that is CH4. That means it consists of carbon as well as hydrogen. Wherever you will find hydrogen plus carbon, that means it is hydrocarbon. There are two types of hydrocarbons. The first one that is known as aliphatic hydrocarbons and the second one is known as closed chain hydrocarbons Aliphatic hydrocarbons means, the word aliphatic means open chain hydrocarbons. That means we can simply say the another name of the aliphatic hydrocarbons is known as open chain hydrocarbons. For example, once again we can take here the example CH4. While as the closer chain hydrocarbon is taking an example of benzene. This aliphatic hydrocarbon has been subdivided into two parts. The first part that is known as the saturated hydrocarbon and the second part that is known as the unsaturated hydrocarbon. saturated hydrocarbon and unsaturated hydrocarbon. Now let us discuss first saturated hydrocarbons. Saturated hydrocarbons. Saturated hydrocarbons means that you will find here single covalent bond between the two carbon atoms. That means between the carbon and the carbon. There you will find different, there you will find one kind of a bond that is a single covalent bond. These saturated hydrocarbons are also known as alkenes. And the general formula, the general formula 
of alkanes is Cn H2n plus 2 where n is known as number of carbon atoms in one compound of of an alkene with the help of this general formula we can find different kinds of the that means a series of formula of a series of different alkanes and all these alkanes will have single covalent bond only there you will not find neither double or triple bond as far as the saturated hydrocarbons are concerned now see how we can find the different kinds of the alkanes with the help of this general formula the general formula is cn h2n plus 2 let me repeat it again cn h2n plus 2 cn h2n plus 2 if we can go putting the value putting the values of n 1 to 20 that means we will find 20 types of alkenes and in all these 20 types of alkenes you will see a single covalent bond that indicates these alkenes are saturated hydrocarbons put the value 1 in the given general formula and that general formula is cn h2n plus 2 if you can say put n is equal to 1 that means it becomes c here is n in a slope n we are going to put the value of n that is 1 we can write down here 1 then it is h then it is 2 into because 2 into n it is in the multiplication form that we can say 2 into 1 because n has a value 1 here we can write down 1 plus 2 now c c 1 that means c while it's h 2 into 1 2 ones are 2 plus 2 that is equal to 4 that means h 4 it consists now a molecule that is called the methane and this methane consists of one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms now we can write down this like this c single bond single bond single bond single bond here you can write down h h h h and this is the first member of the saturated hydrocarbon which is known as methane and in a short form you can write down its name as meth now my dear students here you have to remember always whenever you will see the suffix a n e in any alkane a n e in any alkane that means it consists of a single bond how you can remember this thing very simple way whenever you will find suffix a n e that means it contains single bond here c h 4 single bond single bond single bond single bond now put the value of n put n is equal to 2 then we will find the second member of the series if we can say n is equal to 2 that means c2 h2 into 2 plus 2 that is equal to c2 h2 
2 to the 4 plus 2 that is equal to 6. That means the second member of the this homologous series of alkene is C2H6. That means it contains two atoms of carbon and six atoms of hydrogen. You can write down this like this C single bond C single bond single bond single bond single bond single bond single bond H H H H H H. This is the structural formula of ethane. That means the second member of the alkene series is known as ethane. Now again here see how you can remember the number of series how you can recall this now see in carbon you will see there is an increasing order first of all it was C that means single C that means it comes of one C one carbon then second it contains two while as in hydrogen there is an increasing of two atoms there was 4, then it is here 6. That means if we can go with the help of the 3, if we can put n is equal to 3, then it means C n H2 n plus 2. Put the value of n is equal to 3. We can write down here C3 H2 into 3 plus 2. That is equal to C3 H2 3 or 6, 6 plus 2 that is 8. And this is the third member and this is the third member of the series which is known as propane now look here the first member the first member that is known as methane the second member is known as ethane here first member that is methane and its formula is CH4 the second member is ethane that is C2H6 the third member is propane that is C3H8 fourth member is now increase 1 here that means if it is 1 2 3 and increase 2 here if it is here 4 then 6 then 8 and that is the fourth one that is called a butane butane that means c4 h10 number 5 pentane that is c5 h12 i am increasing here the order 4 5 carbon is increased by 1 while as the hydrogen is increased by the 2 that means now the 6 that is hexane hexane that means C6 H14 7th heptane C7 H16 8th octane C8 H18 and the ninth one is ninth one is and the ninth one is that is Nanane. Formula C9 H20 and the tenth one is decane C10 H22 11 on decane C11 H24 do the king C12 H26 13 
try it again. C13, H28, 14, check thread again. C14, H30, 15, Pentad again. C15, H32, Hexad again. C16, H34, 17, Heptad again. C17, H36, 18, Octad again. C18, H38, Nanad again. C19, H40. And the last one is that is 20th I co same C20 H42 and this was the series of the alkanes. Now the another type that is known as unsaturated. unsaturated hydrocarbons in high unsaturated hydrocarbons there are two types of alkenes it is alkene and alkyl here you will find the suffix E and E, E and E, and here the suffix is Y and E. The suffix E and E signifies double bond, and Y and E signifies triple bond. If you remember, in alkene series, there is a suffix A and E that indicates single bond now remember a and e single bond as e and e double bond y and e triple bond the general formula the general formula of alkene is C N H two N. Now find the different series of alkenes with the help of this general formula. Putting the values two, three, four, five, six, and so on. With the help of this general formula of alkenes, that means unsaturated hydrocarbon, we can find a whole of a series of alkenes. Putting N is equal to 2, that means C2 H2 into 2, that is equal to C2 H4. Here it became the first member of the unsaturated hydrocarbon, and that is alkene. The alkene which consists of the double bond with C double bond C. Put N is equal to 3. That means C3 H2 into 3. That is equal to C3 H6. This is called propene. Put n is equal to 4, 
that means c4 h2 into 4 that is called c4 h8 that is called butene and so on but here you have to remember one thing that is very important i couldn't put the value of 1 as far as the alkenes are concerned because we can go with n n is equal to 1 that means it will become c1 h2 into 1 that means c h2 that means between the carbon and the carbon atom there should be at least the second carbon atom without one carbon atom it is not possible so why i cannot go with the putting the value of one so the alkene series will start with the help of the putting the value two that means the first member of the alkene series is that is c2 h4 the second member of the series is c3 h6 and so on here the third one is that is alkyl the general formula of alkyl is the general formula of alkyl is cn cn h2n minus 2 that means putting the values putting the values 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on in the given general formula of alkynes that is C2 H2 into 2 minus 2 that is equal to C2 H4 minus 2 that is equal to C2 H2 here it is the first member of the alkyne series which consists of triple bond why because i already told you that whenever you will see the suffix y and e that indicates it has triple bond but that means here the first member of the alkyne series is c2 h2 here again i put in the values from 2 in a sort of 1 here you, it is the same case as far as the double bond is concerned because both the alkene as well as the alkyl are unsaturated hydrocarbons these are unsaturated hydrocarbons now put the value of n is equal to 3 that means c3 h2 into 3 minus 2 that is equal to c3 h6 minus 2 that is 4 the second member that is called a propyne P R O P Y N E propyne. This is called ethyl E T H Y N ethyl. And you can find the different series of the members from the alkyl. This was the idea of the saturated, unsaturated hydrocarbons. For your information here let us recall in a quick fusion what we have read today for quick fusion it was hydrocarbon that means hydrogen plus carbon means hydrocarbon number one number two combination of hydrogen and carbon means hydrocarbons natural natural resource of hydrocarbon is petroleum number three there are two types of hydrocarbons saturated unsaturated the general formula of saturated hydrocarbons cn h2n plus 2 
unsaturated CnH2n and CnH2n minus two. These saturated hydrocarbons are known as alkanes. These unsaturated hydrocarbons are known as alkenes and alkynes. Here you will find single bond. While as in unsaturated hydrocarbons, you will find double and triple bond. Saturated hydrocarbons are quite unreactive. And in unsaturated hydrocarbons, there can be no alkene or alkyl with single carbon atom. Remember this, there can be no alkene or alkyl. with single carbon atom. One more thing which you have to remember that is why we put in CnH2n and CnH2n minus 2 putting the values from 2 because of the reason there can be no alkene or alkyl with a single carbon atom. And this was the first part of the lesson, hydrocarbons. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Till then, goodbye, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much.